Hello, everyone. Good morning. I can see number of people joining in. Great to see more people. And by the way, Happy New Year, everyone. Good morning, Nikhil. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year. Good morning. Happy New Year, Rajesh. Thank you. Anyone joining this live session for the first time? Can I get a yes or no in the chat box? Great. Yes, yes, yes. Great, great. Great. All right, uh, Divya, I'll start with my intro and then I'll hand it over to you. Is it okay? Yes, of course. Okay. Uh, so hello everyone i welcome you all to our uh, today's live session uh, with ms divya and we'll further uh, talk or we'll have a discussion about it so let me just uh, quickly go to our journey a bread rice journey so far so a bread rice is an exclusive initiative for our alumni where we offer academic learning and holistic learning and where we have managed to give 350 plus live sessions um, and with 125 plus industry experts uh, for which we have been able to uh, engage 65% of alumni, which equals to uh, 37 million upskilling R by our alumni. So we also ensure that we onboard a uh, best industry expert for our alumni, for example, IBM or Google, TCS, Amazon, and et cetera. So who we do have today, we have Ms. Uh, Divya Srivastava, who is a certified resilience coach. She, so she's going to help us uh, you know, set our realistic goals for New Year. So without wasting any time, uh, let's just hand it over to Divya. Thank you so much. Happy New Year to everybody. And let's not forget, we have a lot of resolutions, a lot of goals that we create and then we forget eventually. But today we are going to make it much easier for all of us to stick to our goals, all right? So I just want to know how many of you already have attended one of my sessions so that I don't have to go through uh, you know, explaining how do we do things? Okay, I see a lot of no, so let us let me just explain. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to talk to you, interact to you, and the session is going to be very um, like properly interactive session, even though I could not get all of you on the video because, uh, oh, hi, Shalendra, you're here. Awesome. 
So uh, I want all of you to keep interacting with me so that I know that we are on track. And if you stick with me for the rest of the 90 minutes, I guarantee that whatever you came here uh, for, you will, right? It doesn't matter if you had set goal for three months or three years, but we are going to get it. If you really stick with me for the rest of the 90 minutes, all right, who's with me? Type Y if you guys are good. Awesome. <laughs> That's amazing. Great. Thank you so much. All right. So here's how it's going to go. I'm going to explain a few things and then I'm going to just start with the process. This uh, session is going to be a little bit different. I'm not directly going to hand over the tool. I'm going to help you guys do the tool with me and I'm going, going to give you example of all the of all the items that I wrote down for my goals a few years back. All right. And how I achieved it. So I had set a goal for uh, three months. Um, a few years back and I achieved those goals with that the framework that I'm going to share with you today within 45 days okay so that was pretty amazing because I had made things very very easy for myself okay so I'm going to share a slide very quickly so that you know we are on the same page and the PPT is actually for me so that I follow through the, uh, you know, the topics one by one and don't forget. But if you want, if any of you want uh, the deck, I'll share that with you as well. Okay. Mm, where is share screen? Right. Give me one second. Where is it? So now I'm not able to share the screen. Okay. Uh, what happened, Divya? I'm trying to share the screen of um, a particular app. It's not allowing me. I'm just checking that. Um, Ritu, can you do me a favor? I'm going to share the uh, PPT with you. Can you share your screen? Yeah, yeah. OK. No problem. OK, I'm just going to email it to you, and you can share it. Or better, I'll just share this link over here. to just open this link for me please yeah just a second i'll share my screen and i'll okay awesome thank you just present it if you can um okay no problem let it be uh, you can see the uh, yeah this one website. yes thank okay. you okay so here's the topic for today please move on to the next slide okay so why set goals a lot of you may say that I have not created any goals I don't I did not have any goals last year or the previous year previous year but to be very honest you did have goals you just did not articulate it 
right? And we create goals every day. We may not follow it through, but we do create it all the time. Okay, you may say that um, I just want a salary hike. That is also a goal, isn't it? And you try to grow and tr you try to learn in your workplace and you grow. You come to upgrade, you learn something, you grow. And that's how we set goals. Yesterday, you decided that you're going to attend this session. That is a short-term goal, isn't it? So we, most of the time, we do set goals, all right? Now, uh, please move on to the next slide. Okay, so here, here are the things that, um, you know, this is the wheel of life. I want all of you to set goal, uh, one goal, choose one goal that you have in one of these areas, and we are going to work through that, all right? I want all of you to shut your door, don't let people come in, just be with yourself, take notes of whatever answers you get while I, uh, you know, while I talk, speak it out loud even if you think um, that is going to help because for some of us uh, writing is easier for others um, it's easier to speak it out right so use both the methods whatever fits you best and we are going to walk through this till the end until we have the ultimate clarity and we have made everything easy for you to do and broken it down to like you know really smallest step so that you can just go ahead and do all the things that is required to achieve those goals. So uh, take a minute. And once you have written down goal in one of the areas that you choose to work with me today, and just uh, type Y in the chat window once you're ready. But if you want to set goals in multiple sectors, of course, you have to set uh, goals in multiple sectors. But for me to work with um, one of the topics, just take one thing. Uh, out of these, uh, out of this wheel and uh, pick a goal in that area, okay? And just uh, work with it. Okay, I'm waiting for more responses. Just choose one thing. Okay, Vishnu, good. Shailendra and Namrata is done. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, let's move on. So, um, Ritu, please move on to the next one. Okay, prime your mind and create, uh, create curiosity. Now, before you start actually thinking how to get those things, the number one thing that we must do is to prime our minds. We are not ready immediately to move towards our goal. The reason being our goals seem to be very far-fetched and we may create a lot of resistance for ourselves to actually go and, um, you know, go and achieve it. Could you please, for a while, I was away. Okay, Yadu, hi, I, I think I remember you from the last session. Okay, so uh, Yadu, what I was saying is um, choose one goal to work with me today, all right, and I'm going to... Um, you know, walk you through the whole process and towards the end, you'll have the ultimate clarity of how you can actually go ahead and do it. It will be a how, what, when, and all the WH uh, questions and answers, you will get it, right? So uh, we must have to prime our mind first before we actually go and achieve it. What does priming mean? You know how we prime the walls before we actually start painting? And we are uh, for, you know, whoever likes makeup, we prime our face before we actually start putting on makeup so that it sticks for, you know, sticks for a while, right? So for anything to actually work out, you need to prime it. You need to make the surface ready. So we need to make ourselves ready to actually go ahead and achieve the goal and actually take the actions that is necessary. So what does priming mean? So priming is... For example, uh, can you guys give me one of the examples of one of the goals that you guys have set? Just type uh, one of the goals, either of you. So in that area, what have you said in social, professional, what exactly is your financial upliftment? Okay, that's a good one. Uh, I think that's the number one goal that most of us have. Okay, I plan to shed five kgs, that's interesting. Okay, great, concentrate on health. 
so this is the ultimate goal right for this year you might call it resolution you might call it a goal but the reason that i don't use resolution is because it's overused and people just because it's the word resolution is used we tend to you know be very uncomfortable with that goal that we have set for ourselves so let's say you had uh, set a goal of um financial upliftment right one of the people said financial upliftment so um when you say financial upliftment what do you need to do to be ready for it so what happens if you uh if you if you doubled your salary what is that you require or what is it how your mind should work basically right so how does it work so you need to be ready to be getting that amount now what does that mean that means that you need to be first of all grateful second you need to be healthy to get that amount and you know actually be able to use it you need to know how do you want to spend it now all these three factors all the factors that is required just to be ready to you know achieve it. before you go and get a car you get all the information that is required isn't it so get all the information create curiosity so when you uh, so for example you're going to buy a car in the coming year and you start studying about the topic that will really make you want to go and check out the car for yourself isn't it how does the car feel how how does the steering wheel feels how is the brake how is the acceleration everything right um, so that is priming your mind and creating curiosity so uh, please move on to the next slide okay any goal is incomplete without you knowing what is the outcome of that goal all right so when you say that i need financial upliftment or you say consulting uh, exploring new consult consulting services or earning 3.5 lakh per month till the end of 2022 so all these is you know goals correct but what is the outcome of this what happens once you achieve those goals what how do you see yourself what does others see so i want all of you to take this goal and now i'm starting to you know walk you through the whole process so you need to work with me and write down whatever answers you get all right are you guys ready do you all have notebooks shall i give you 10 seconds to get a notebook and a pen okay you're ready all right i hope nobody is uh, nobody is going to disturb you at the, at this moment and keep this document only to yourself i don't want you to share this with anybody we don't want criticism but how will we go near our goals how i'm walking you through the how deepak hold on for a minute all right by the end of 90 minutes you will have all the answers if not you can contact me personally i'm going to walk you through the rest of the process that you have questions for all right so are you guys ready i see a lot of yes all right so um of course this is applicable in any area any particular area all right so <clears throat> first of all all these goals have to be your own you can't say india has to you know um, i don't know the economy has to be has to become better corona has to go these are not your personal goals choose something that is very personal to you and you yourself can take ownership of that all right you need to be able to take actions towards it you have to have the ultimate control even though people will be involved all the goals will always always have people involved but you must have the ultimate veto power to everything that you do all right so does that uh, box check in your um, in terms of the goal that you have chosen yeah okay i see yes all right great so now every outcome so um, my bad so goals need to have outcomes right so what is the outcome that you are trying to achieve what will happen once you have the financial freedom or upliftment what else did we have exploring new consulting services what will happen what is the outcome of this goal career transition what is the outcome of this goal write down the outcome of this goal
if one of you are ready with the answer, I want you to just help me out here. Okay, freedom satisfaction. Okay. <clears throat> Getting into good university abroad. Okay, somebody asked for example of an outcome. Okay, since I'm, I'm not able to share my screen, I'm going to give you, I'm going to read out the goal that I created a few years back. So the goal was to become a great coach. I was just starting to get um, um, trained to be a coach and I wanted to be a really good coach. All right, so here was my goal. The goal was for three months, June, July, August, uh, some years back, and I wanted to be a great coach. The outcome of this uh, goal was all the tools that I'm learning has to be on my fingertips, and I don't need a document to take up a session. The second was 15, uh, I should have done 15 paid sessions by then. I should have a website. I should have, you know, posts and freebies to use for my sessions. And I should have already started uh, some webinars and um, post ads and freebies, right? So this was the outcome of being a great coach. So what is the outcome of, okay, I see spiritual development taking decisions. Should we always choose and duration for a goal? Well, I really would like you to choose a date, end date, so that uh, we be responsible to actually go ahead and do it. And the second reason is, I know Vishal, you can't see my uh, screen because I don't have access, but either ways. So what, I, what was I saying? The reason I ask you to have a, a timeline is because when you set a time, it becomes clear for you to what exactly and what extent you must, must take actions to actually go ahead and achieve it, right? So when I say, uh, when you say somebody said 3.5 um, lakh per month they want as a salary, do you, if you want it by the end of 2022, the actions will be different. If you, end, if you want it by the end of the decade, the actions will be much easier and you know laid out. So the actions will be different in terms of what is the duration you choose. So it is important that you choose a date, a timeline, by when do you want. So choose a, a comfortable timeline so that you don't have a lot of resistance towards it and we'll work through the rest, okay? Somebody said, uh, working in one of the Faman country uh, company after one year as data scientist, senior position. That's a good one. What are the other um, outcome of this Piyush? Uh, what is the finance that you're looking for? How's your health? How's everything else around you when you say you work for one of the Faman company, right? After ret retirement financial security. Okay, that's a good goal. You. How much time do you have for this, Dinesh? ASAP, okay. But what does financial security mean to you? Now you need to be very clear about what does this mean? Uh, Ritu, can we bring Dinesh on the video? Is that possible? Video or audio? Um, uh, Divya, I have given you the co-host access. I think you should be able to access everything. Can you try? Okay, let me try. You just need to, um, I mean... I got it, I got it. You got it? Dinesh, are you comfortable coming on the audio or video, whatever you're comfortable with? Great, I'm going to allow you to talk. Hi, are you here? You should be able to unmute yourself. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning, Ritu. Uh, Hi. Can, can you hear me? Yes, 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 we can hear you. Good morning. So, 
so so my retirement is almost uh, next uh, four to five years uh, okay. of time. So before that, uh, I want to uh, make sure that my financial security, etc., should be uh, perfect. For that, uh, I have uh, one idea. So uh, so that idea, I'm just uh, brainstorming and uh, making that in a concentrated. Uh, in a, and a uh, go ahead goal kind of thing okay so how to do that and uh, how i have to proceed that is my okay that is my uh, as of now the, the, the main issue okay then you got it so your ultimate goal is to have the financial freedom by the end of four to five years right is it four or is it five maximum five although four Okay, let's see. Let's check. It. Let's uh, take it for four years for now. Okay, yes. let's choose the uh, more stringent um, uh, timeline. So, uh, by the end of four years, you must have the financial freedom, right, for your retirement. And what does financial freedom mean to you? So after uh, there are two means. One is I have to earn something, which is my daily needs and my my medical needs, etc. For my me and my wife. Okay. Number one. Number two is people should uh, take my experience last thirty five years experience uh, in different fields. At least uh, uh, that is from my whatever I gain in last thirty one years uh, period. So that I want to share with the concerned people. That is my two. Okay. So financial uh, goal is for you to be able to keep your lifestyle. Is that it? Uh, yes. First one is that one. Second one is there is two goal basically. One okay. is the initial the, the immediate goal. The goal is I have to be uh, make sure my uh, financial freedom. Uh, number one number two is people should know that people should recognize my whatever i gain and what uh, and people should uh, recognize uh, and people should interact with me in a in a uh, in a, uh, in my any any kind of experience sharing got it you still want to stay um, with your consulting uh, i guess you want to still consult with your experience, right? That should also provide you some financial gains. Is that what you're saying? Exactly, exactly, ma'am. Yeah. You're right. Okay. So, have you written down what exactly is the amount that you're looking for? Uh, not exactly, but yes, that I know roughly what uh, what amount I need. Okay. I want you to be clear in that area as well. Okay. So that is the uh, that is how you create your goal, exact goal. So there were two things that you said. One financial goal, you should be able to um, keep the current lifestyle and you should be able to, uh, you know, have your, have a separate job, have a new job, I guess, yeah. as a consultant where you keep, um, you know, uh, consulting with your uh, previous experience, right? Exactly. So okay. that should be, that light should be more interactive with the people and the media, basically. Okay. All right. Got it. Got it. So, uh, this is how clear your goal uh, should be. Um, okay, uh, Dinesh, I'm going to move to the next step and you can keep working with me and then yeah. you'll have the ultimate clarity, all right? Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, you're most welcome. Okay, I'm going to send you back. Okay. So, uh, Ritu, can you move to the next slide? Okay, so whatever items that you had written down, whatever goals that you have written down, have all of you written down the outcome of that? Do any of you need help or is that is this okay? Can you just type by if all of you are okay with the outcome of what you're looking for? Yeah, all right, great. I hope Dinesha's example helped all of you. Okay, I see a lot of why, great. So the next step is to have the external evidence of what will you see, what will you sense in all the five senses once you have that outcome, right? So when you say you, okay, I want one of you, it will be great to have one of the people's example over here. I'll give you mine for for example, for the, la uh, for the last few years. So, um, 
as an external evidence I said, I'll have posters on Instagram, I'll have paid webinars, I'll have um, the money, I'll have a website. These were the external evidences that I could experience, right? So I want one of you to come on the audio with me, audio or video, whichever is, are you comfortable with? So who would like to join me? Nobody. Okay, Dinesh, you already Dinesh, you already have had a chance. Let's give somebody else. Okay, Yadu. All right, so I'm gonna uh, get Yadu on the way here. Yeah, Yadu. All right. Anji, <coughs> very very good. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Hi. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right. Awesome. How are you? Anji, fine. Thank you, ma'am. In fact, at this point of time, uh, I want to give a little, uh, you know, a uh, little uh, input from my side. Okay. From last uh, couple of years working uh, in the capacity of head of R&D. All right. Awesome. Leading around 500 plus employees. But I'm not happy with respect to the job profile. Uh, that's what there is a pulse it's pulling back me to go it industry mm. that's what in the form of uh, through your affable platform i i could complete my pgt from triple it and ms from masters from ljmu okay. now my goal is to come back to it industry since i was previously in it industry though i'm working uh, as a government sponsored project but i'm not happy in fact so that's what i want to come back so in order to do this Please give some chronologically in general, in general, so that it may help. I'm not asking myself in concentric, in general, uh, it may help everyone of this cohort. So what I mean to say in a chronological order, uh, would be expedite some insight so that uh, based on your, uh, you know, valued principle, uh, if it could work, it may help a lot, in fact. Definitely. So, Yadu, let's go back to the uh, previous slide where we said prime your mind. Right? Anji. Ritu, can you help me out here, please? Yes. So, when you said that you're not happy and uh, Madhumita said, okay, I'll explain that, Madhumita. Um, so, uh, Yadu, when we say prime your mind, what I meant was to be ready for what you want, right? So in order for priming, you need to make the surface smooth. So what I mean by that is you can't be happy once you have that. You need to be internally satisfied and in gratitude of what you have right now. So first, one tool that I can give all of you is to start writing a gratitude journal of, um, of five things that you're grateful for every day, okay? And then once you have that, you are innately happy and you are innately satisfied with what you have right now. But there's also a, a, a balancing thing that goes on where you are satisfied at one, one thing, but you also need to be trying to achieve something else or something more the, what that, than what you have right now. So Yadu, your goal is not wrong. What I'm saying is first step towards your, uh, your goal to go back to the IT industry is first you need to be grateful for what all you have right now. It may not be directly your job profile, but whatever made you happy in the last few years while you were working for R&D. So write those things and then start thinking about what exactly is your goal in the IT industry, right? So what is, what is it that you want in the IT industry? What role are you looking for? Yadu, are you here? Anji, head of MLAI. I want to become a head of machine learning data science. Okay, all right. And are you ready for that? Role? I have I have very clear uh, uh, mindset. In five years down the line, I want to lead uh, one uh, one team in IT industry, IT corporate world. Great. And what will be the outcome of this role? 
well a financial surplus transform into financial uh, surplus and give a freedom of expression to my family so that they they should not feel other way around towards you know asking on day to day basis on their uh, on, you know on their happiness okay haan ji so financial okay. financial obligator in order to fulfill uh, five years down the line maybe in the form of uh, surplus that is uh, 5 to 7 cr i had to make it in five years so very clear uh, goal okay great so by the end of five years you need you want to be head of mlai right yes and you have exact numbers of what uh, the finances yes right okay that is also awesome. a freedom of expression to the family okay give the freedom of expression to the family that's awesome and once you achieve this goal this is the outcome once you have this outcome what will you hear so now i'm talking about the external evidences ritu can you go to that slide where it says external evidences you mean to say social media anything anything that you see here so let's start uh, so since i say five senses let's start with the eyes okay what will you see what will be the visual proof of and the evidence of having this outcome that you are now the head of mlai what is the what will you see han ji i'm saying yadu what will you see once you have this outcome of being the head of mlai what well to deliver to, to deliver the best solution across no uh, in your one of the senses now i'm talking about your eyes okay Anji. what will you see happening around you let's say you walk into the office anji okay and you are the head of mlai anji and what do you see happening around you n number of activities some of uh, you know positive activities negative activities some other things it's happening some events is happening so i want to give me an example well supposing let's say example i i i have been assigned one job towards hackathon with the community of mlai okay so with respect to that i want to give a thumping response to my head so okay. that the institution as a whole should be satisfied with respect to my job okay this is a great in association with, in association with my team hmm so you want to be a part of hackathon right han ji this is one thing that you will see what else will you see what will you see once you give the, the uh, freedom of expression in your house well best example best example as a layman in a small very small because we are indians you know we will we'll see across yeah, our day to day life you know so many people struggle for their existence struggle for their day to day uh, especially during this pandemic you now so freedom exp- expression is the one which will provide a privilege in order to give uh, you know full fledge uh, you know uh, without any second thought to the family hey yes you bring one uh, you know one liter of one kg of milk today immediately the person who who is having uh, very little uh, you know his survival he's un- he is unable to do so so henceforth this uh, without any second thought he or she should be in a position to bring immediately on their fold okay okay Anji. now since we already we now we talked about what will you see now what will you hear what will people say to you as a head of mlai what will be hearing well around 500 plus people uh, you know uh, my uh, you know team is working uh, you know uh, under me but i never ever heard any one of you that is something like five year philosophy no 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 i will give everybody uh, yeah sorry to interrupt um, so what i mean is let's say today you just got a phone call that now you are the head of mlai haan okay? ji so can you hear those words yes yes okay now who is saying that my my subordinates okay awesome now when you tell this to your family what will they say very happy in fact very happy and what will they say well good response uh, in terms of uh, you know their body language everything they'll be very happy in fact okay great and what will you touch or you know uh, what will give you a sense of um, accomplishment 
that you know you are now the head of MLA. Will you have any um, sort of um, a name plate or something like that as a head of MLA? Will you have any of that? Yes, I do have a director a director R and D. Okay. Anji. So okay, you want uh, all right. So Yadu, I guess I'm going to send you back now. This was a great example. So you need to set similar examples in all the five senses. Okay. What will you see? What will you hear? What will you uh -huh. see? Understood. Understood. Right. Understood. Okay. I'm going to walk you um, through the rest of the process with everybody else. I'm going to send yes. you back. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, since you guys are asking for generic case studies, so I'm going to give you mine. So um, I said that I want to have my own, the outcome of my goal as a great coach was to have finances. The other was, um, what the five senses? Robin, the five senses are see, hear, smell, touch, feel, right? So what, will, what are the five things that you will sense? The example that I wrote for myself, uh, the answer that I wrote for myself as the external evidences was I will see, I will be able to see my own website. I'll see my picture on my website. That was one of the things that I will see. What will I hear is um, my family will be saying, we are proud of you. I will be saying to myself that I did good. I'm doing great. And I'll be hearing myself, you know, talking while giving a webinar. That was one of the things that I will experience as the outcome of being a great coach. The other uh, was anything that, will, uh, that I will smell or taste. No, I did not have anything in that area per se, because a good coach uh, doesn't relate to that. But if one of you have, um, you know, set a health goal for, let's say, you want a better health and as an outcome of that you would be exactly let's say 60 kg um, for some of you right let's say your um, goal is 60 kg by the end of this year so in that case the external evidence will be i'll be able to see myself as 60 kg i'll be of this this um, you know um, the measurement my skin will be glowing that is another evidence that i will see for myself something that i'll be hearing um, for by being slim and fit is one of my friends is going to tell me uh, you know you look great you are so thin how did you do this right and how will you feel it is you know i'll feel great i'll feel fit and i'll feel more energetic because i have been working out right another thing that i will smell and taste in this field in the health area is um you know i'll be smelling healthy food i will be smelling um the smell of what is one healthy food i guess boiled chicken if any of you is non-vegetarian i don't like no, uh, boiled chicken but no you can't uh, you may not be able to uh, relate smell if it's a financial goal goal or if uh, celebration is an outcome of the financial goal, then you can have celebration and smell butter chicken or, um, you know, anything um, malai paneer or whatever you like as a celebration. So you can relate all the five, five senses in all the goals. Smell of currency, you know, that's a very good example. So you will be smelling the currencies and that will smell good, right? So those are the external evidences. Are you guys clear? Okay. The outcome may relate to feeling. Yes, it has to relate to feeling also. So how will you feel? Okay, have you guys written down the answers to external evidences for yourself in the particular goal that you chose? You're right, Tanvi, this, this is a very great point. Um, since when everything about office is online right now, it is really difficult to feel different even after a significant salary change or workplace change. That's true. But you will have a change in the, um, the group of people that you're working with, right? You'll be hearing different voices on the call. The applications will be different. So imagine that. How will you sit? How will you talk? How will you be uh, talking about yourself? Will you be more confident? 
so how are things will be different how things will be different for you once you um, you know achieve that outcome okay so let's move on to the next slide please okay now now we talk about internal experiences do you guys know what an interior uh, internal experience is <laughs> that's a great question question robin how do we know how we feel since we are not in that position right now humans are gifted with something called imagination so go crazy imagine that you are in a roller coaster you will feel the adrenaline rush right when you go and watch a movie you know it's fake but you still cry at the end of the movie you still feel all the emotions even though it's not real so imagine this as a movie create your own movie just for the sake of it just because you had you are come here you are spending this these 90 minutes with me you're working towards your goal just try to work okay neo you can just um, get in touch with the upgrad they will send you the um, the ppt or you can email me i'll send you the ppt that's not a problem okay so now internal experience what will you look like what kind of looks will you give so when we achieve something something changes in, in us isn't it we sit slightly straight our hands become open we smile a little more at least for some time till we you know we feel that you know we have achieved something we got some money when you have a, a bundle of notes yeah a gesture of confidence when we achieve something right so what are these experiences how will you feel right what is the internal experience so i want you to write down all the internal experience that you will have feeling proud what does feeling proud mean to you how will you sit how will your eyes be how will you be talking you will be sounding more confident isn't it and what will you be saying about it when you had achieved 3.5 lakhs per month how will you talk and what kind of energy will you be feeling what is your self image now once you are the head of mlai how will you feel what is your experience about it now act as if for just a minute with me just sure of happiness yeah awesome shashank get confidence self proud feeling that's great what else what will you be talking awesome tanvi sense of satisfaction great have all of you written down the answer to all the ex internal experiences Oh, that's a great example, Hemant. That actually pushes me to the next slide, and I'm going to share with you something amazing now. Have you guys written the answer? Just type yes if all of you are already done. Okay, I'm going to give you ten more seconds for the rest of you to write down. Salif Fi has written so confident. Wow, that's great. I see a lot of you feeling this emotion of having achieved this outcome. That's great. Keep it running. Keep it running. All right. Now there's something called an anchor. You know, when you see a flag, what happens is when you see an Indian flag, you fall if you are from India. when you see a flag what happens and let's say the song vande mataram is running along with the uh, with the flag hoisting you'll feel a sense of pride isn't it you'll have that sense of uh, freedom you'll stand right up you will yeah confident motivate inspire 
pride definitely yes being indian so what is this happening why do we see a flag and this happens because this is an anchor that generates a feeling to you feeling inside you what happens is we attach something to something else in our mind and that's how we remember things right so when you see mom calling you know either you have done something wrong or you're getting something to eat so you have attached the feeling of mom to good food and beating <laughs> beating or scolding or something like that so this is an anchor so one of you said the uh, last scene of um pursuit of happiness right who was that i want you to come on the uh, audio with me hemant hey, okay i'm going to bring you here are you okay hemant hey, to come on the audio okay so you're here so i want you to unmute yourself please can you hear me yes awesome okay. thank you for that example i was looking for somebody to give me an example or something that be connected with all of this right so right. when you said internal evidence and external evidence so can you read through everything don't read out loud just read it for yourself now when you read all that yes i'll clarify nitin uh, hold on so you connected this automatically to uh, the person yes. of happiness the last scene right yes yes i believe a lot of you may have or might not have uh, watched this movie the last um, scene is the uh, is the actor is actually clapping to himself crying in happiness right so that is the scene am i right hemant yes yes so uh, here is the thing all of you uh the rest of you that i'm uh, talking to in the chat i want you to imagine one thing that connects to your outcome to your goal to an anchor to something that is connected to your internal and external evidences anything that comes up to you in your mind for me in my example when i had set um when i had set uh, this um, goal of being a great coach i could see um, i had selected blue sea for myself so you can choose anything you can choose a pen you can choose i don't know a flag again you can choose a watch you can choose anything something some object or color or anything that connects to your goal and the internal experience and the external experience that you had was i clear didn't did you get your answer what is an anchor i don't get it okay all right let me give you another example okay so um let's say when i tell you about all the fruits when i say fruits what comes to your mind Hemant, do you want to answer this? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it could be apple, it could be banana, it could be okay. pineapple. So the first thing that came to you was apple. Apple. And yes. And somebody also said mango. So the image of apple came to you. Yes. Yes. Great. And when I say um, a chair, what yes. uh, what color the chair is? Black. black okay so you are connecting something to something else yes yes okay this is the this is what i'm talking about uh, vaishakhi so when you say um, okay uh, hemant i'm actually going to bring vaishakhi i'm going to send you back sure. okay yes yeah, yes yeah. thank you vaishakhi are you here hi yes hi okay so uh, can you tell me what is your goal um keeping a simpler one for weight loss <laughs> okay okay great so you have uh, you have set a weight loss goal that's great and what is the internal experience as a outcome of this um i think feeling confident 
being confident okay yeah, yeah. feeling uh, feeling fit yeah feeling fit and how do you sound like um i think proud proud okay confident yeah all right so when you say all these things what do you see immediately what comes to your mind um i know fitness fitness and oh you mean like what object comes to my mind anything object color a sound an imaginary shape anything that comes to your mind what is the first thing that comes just fitness the word fitness yeah okay um is it written somewhere or do you hear it uh no just think of it like you think of it okay let's bring it to um what are you comfortable more seeing it or hearing it seeing it okay great so i want you to imagine the word fitness right in front of you yeah okay and what color is it written in um red awesome is it um, can you also guess one of the fonts it is written in is it cursive is it straight how is it straight bold straight and bold all right awesome so this word is your anchor all right okay this is the example that i'm giving i'll tell you okay. the significance of it afterwards okay so now just okay. have this uh, word have this anchor with you so this is the anchor of clarity so okay. whatever we had right now till now the outcome the okay. external evidence and the internal experience all okay. these three should um, the anchor of all these three items is this word all right if okay, anything got it also come to you just write it down for yourself got it got it okay, okay. thanks You're welcome okay let's uh, move on um ritu uh, can will you please move on to the next slide okay the internal resources now have the anchor set aside for now i'm going to the i'm going to move to the next one and in the end i'm going to explain explain to you how do we use this anchor all right now internal resources what are some of the things that have helped you in past to achieve something that might also come in handy to achieve the current goal that you're setting for yourself now internal resources means for example resilience is one of resource one of the resources some people are determined some people are highly motivated people okay salish has um i guess um, it's the answer to this one you have a strong network is this is the resource that you have right okay yadu has you have support this is great you have the right atmosphere okay bhaskar has said persistence that's awesome discipline now all these are resources i want you to write three resources that will help you internally to move towards this goal once you have written down for yourself just uh, say why in the chat so that i know that you're done if any of you have doubt let me know i'll bring you here to talk okay internal experience okay i'm since robin you had a lot of questions i'm going to bring you here uh robin hi robin robin can you unmute yourself please hello hi hi man okay so you asked me how is internal experience different from internal resources right is this your question okay. yes so when i say internal experience that means how do you experience the outcome okay that means 
how do you feel when you have achieved something now will you tell me what is your goal my goal is to uh, be financially well off okay and what is the outcome of that uh, right now i don't have car by myself like my dad have so i want to own a car by myself and uh, i want to uh, i want to be in a very good position from the state that i am right now i want to be in a very good i want to be independent okay great so one of the outcome that you have is having a car no ha- having a car and also I... owning and also owning some property so uh, that's my goal okay. like having some car and owning some property of my own okay okay great so you have all these outcomes ready right so when you have this outcome how do you feel i'll be feeling uh, security like there will be a feeling of secure like uh, no tension i'll be having a security feeling in myself okay like, and how will you be talking how will you talk to your father let's say father yeah uh, for par- parents uh, uh, talking uh, talking uh... okay let's take this how will you sound like let's say um when i said i want to be a great coach before that i was not good in talking all right so i used to run away from talking when i actually started doing the webinars i started becoming more confident i was smiling more often i was sat, uh, sitting up straight and i was you know being very confident in whatever i was saying that is what i sound like when i have achieved my goal so when you have achieved your goal how will you sound like like uh, how will be uh, uh, like what will be uh, what will be my uh, Uh, i did not get you like how will my parents uh, uh, think about me or they'll say no. about me like no. that you are saying like that you are no. asking no what will they say is external experience right yeah that is coming from outside that is external experience when i say no. internal experience how will you sound something that will come out of you how will you sit you will sit more upright isn't it okay uh yeah there will be, be con- confident. confidence uh, i'll be all confident and uh, uh, i'll be more uh, confident um, among people and i will be uh, ch- a changed person from to be a changed world. person wow yeah. okay and what does this changed person um feel like how do you how does your what do you dress up in now i'll be uh, very uh, expensive clothes like totally yeah so i'll be wearing branded clothes and uh, awesome. like that like Now, you, my your... taste will be different my taste will be yeah. different from this uh, like right now i have very ordinary taste uh, i can manage but after uh, reaching that stage i my taste will be very different from the state uh, from the taste that i have right now this is exactly all my uh, yeah. all my uh, everything will be changed right now like my feeling my hearing my everything will be changed exactly this is what i'm talking about everything about you all the five senses that you you know sense from outside and from internally that you create for yourself everything will be different your mind will be different isn't it so when i say uh, internal experience your experience is different and what are the resources that going to that are going to help you to reach this place what is something that, that will help you that you already have let's say strengths what are your strengths i don't know my strength is uh i can make friend very uh, i can uh, mm. i don't have fear of pe- people i can talk to anyone and uh, that's a great one you can yeah, talk to anyone you're very very good at networking is that what you're saying yeah. 
yeah if if i go to any pu- public place i don't have fear of people i can easily uh, contact them and i and they also re- respond me in a, a very good way so i think that is a very uh, because i have seen my friends they struggle when they are in a very uh, uh, very new situation or when there is a party or like that situation but in my case i can go there i can meet new people i can talk to them like for long hours there is no okay. problem for me so this is one of the uh, one of the strengths that you have right so i want you to write down two more strengths for yourself all right okay okay Robin, are we clear? Shall I send you that? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. You're most welcome. Okay. So, are all of you clear with the internal resources and the strengths you have to achieve this particular goal? Okay, I see a couple of yes. Okay, what about others? Rakesh, I'll answer that in the end. Okay. Okay, great. Ritu, will you help me with the next slide, please? Okay. Now, this is something that is very underrated. People support. Now, people support does not mean somebody is uh, motivating you towards... waking up and doing your work no people support means that there are a set of people who help you and support you towards your goal for example let's say for me uh, when i had the goal of uh, being a great coach a few years back the people that i needed support was number 1 my parents number 2 other coaches and number 3 uh, uh, my boyfriend at that time right so what was the support that i needed from them for my fa- from my family i needed support so that when i am in the webinar or when i have some work they do not disturb me that is the kind of support that i needed the second support was from the other coaches how i needed to practice practice my tools so in that way i needed their support now all of your goals none of you can say i don't need people support each one of you always need people support now i want you to identify three people you need support from and what kind of support do you need all right himant it can be mentors also my team ram uh, ram prasad said yes your team so what support do you need from your team and himant what support do you need from your mentors and who is that mentor so for example um, i don't remember the name somebody had um, somebody had said their goal was for fitness physical fitness so the people support it may include um, one of the family members who is helping you cook right or your roommate or whoever you are cooking with so that person need to have need to have um, healthy food need to cook healthy food in order for you also to have it if that person keeps cooking uh, you know unhealthy food or fo- oily food or take you outside all the time that is not the kind of support do you need so you need the person who you are living with to have healthy food with you rakesh i suppose you will get the recording don't worry so kartik said parents mentor your colleague working in office okay so kartik what kind of support do you need from your parents your mentor and your colleagues ha- written down the uh, written down whatever you have in mind can we consider people whose podcast tweet we follow in those areas uh you can right but then you can't directly talk to that person right so what kind of support do you need you can't directly interact with that person the reason that i am asking you to write down all the people that you need support from is so that you can express that to them and tell them that mom or dad or family or husband or wife 
I need this particular support from you. And I will do whatever in my power to support you in whatever goal you have, right? So when you say um, to your mom that I want you to help me cook help healthy food or you tell your dad to help you cook healthy food, then you need to tell that person that this is the support that I need from you. If you're not able to express it to that person, then that person does not need to be in this list. For example, I was also a few years back, I was working in uh, IT. I was in one of the MNCs and there I needed support from my manager to get a promotion. So you will need support from them. And I actually went ahead and told him that, um, you know, that I need this support from you. Will you teach me how to be better so that I can get a promotion in the coming cycle? So you need to express that. So write down whoever support you need. Emotional support from parents and professional growth from mentors and colleagues, right? Can we take personal coaching for you? Definitely, Namrata. You can uh, message me or email me. I'll share my contact details afterwards, okay? Are you guys clear in what people support you need? Shall we move on? Everybody's clear? Can, you, can I get a why in the chat? Okay, that's great. I'm loving that you guys are really into this. I'm enjoying this very much. So thank you all for being really involved in this. Okay, Ritu, will you move on to the next slide, please? Okay, now we set another, another anchor. When I say people support and when I say all the resources that you had, okay, the internal resources or the strengths that you have written for yourself and the people support, what is the one word or a color or a shape or a phrase or an image come to your mind? Anything that comes to your mind that associates to these two things. Heart. Pink, that's great. Gratitude. Prakar, what I'm saying is, what is the one thing that you can relate to having people support and the three strengths that you have written down? Red, color, strong. This is great. Write it down for yourself on a paper, okay? Remember this. The previous anchor and this anchor. Remember it. What else? Appraisal from my from near and dear. What is the one word that relates to this? What is the phrase or what is the image that comes to your mind? In one of my one one of my anchor in one of the tools that I was working with, my um, my anchor was my own self, my the image of my own self, fitter, smiling, and uh, a cover of a magazine. I was in the cover of the magazine. So this was one of the anchors. So you can take anything that comes to your mind. Okay, that's great. A friend who had the same weight as uh, same weight loss journey. Prakar, that's a very good one. So have that friend's image in your mind. Upgrade platform support. Anchor of success with full of colors. Okay. Brand. Dinesh, what is brand for you? So what the, the word brand is an anchor. Okay, are you guys done with the anchors? I'm not able to do this. Okay, Tanvi, I guess I'm going to bring you here on the audio. Hi, Tanvi. Hello. Hi. Happy Hi. New Year. Happy New Year. Okay, so where are you st stuck? Tell me. Uh, so I'm not able to understand what kind of anchor to be set here. So basically the previous anchor that you said I just thought of yellow color. There's nothing else I'm able to think about for the previous anchor as well. So okay. it's over here on top. Like, don't know what to No write. problem, no problem. So previous one, you had said the color yellow, right? Yeah, just yellow, that's it. Okay, can you imagine a shape in which the yellow color is? Uh, no, but I, I don't know how, what do you mean by that? Like as an anchor, as in... Am I supposed to think of a color or and then feel about the goal like that? That's how it is. So the use I will tell you later. Okay. How how to use this I will tell you later. But for now, let's say 
you attach something to something else, right? When I say a flower, what comes to your mind? Uh, sunflower. Sunflower, right? And you can see the sunflower, isn't it? Yes. So what comes to your mind when you think about your goal? About my goal? Um, okay, me in a, in a blazer. Awesome. This is a great one. This is a great example. So now, um, what had you said for uh, the people support that you needed? The three people, you had written down the answer? Yes, yes, I wrote it down. Okay, and you also wrote down the answer to what are your strengths? Yes. Okay, now when you think of both these things, you the internal strengths that you have and the external people support that you need. Okay. Okay. Read through all both okay, the uh, things. So, okay, hmm. so I'll read through them. Yeah. So, Just in uh, your mind. You need to read okay, it in my me. mind. All right, I went through them, yes. Okay, now what comes to you? What is the first word or image that comes to your mind? Um. Anything, any random, choose anything. Okay, usually it's an, uh, I'm in a convertible driving on a car in the mountain. Great, this is a great uh, anchor. Now, anything that you can imagine at the moment is great. So you're in a convertible driving in a mount in the mountains. Yeah. Okay, now this is your anchor, all right? Just write it down for yourself. Okay. Okay, but this is an anchor. I don't know if it's related to this goal, but this is all. This is a picture that always comes to my mind from many years. Like whenever it just automatically comes that I'm driving in this convertible, and uh, it's nothing. It's got. It's got nothing to do with this particular goal. That's okay. That's completely all right. It doesn't have to be. Uh, you know, most of the anchors are simply light bulbs or colors. My anchor was the sea you know the ocean for being a great coach that doesn't make sense it will not make sense it's fine okay, okay. i will help you make use of this anchor afterwards okay so somewhat like when i achieve this goal uh, which means i will have the privilege to do uh, this particular activity something like that Sorry, I didn't get. I didn't catch you. So basically, if I achieve this goal, so say for example, in my career, in my profession, whatever, I achieve this goal, then I will get the privilege to drive uh, the convertible and sit in it and enjoy it the drive. Be. So definitely, like it could be. It could be. There's no limit to what answers you're creating for yourself. Okay. So okay. okay. Uh, are we clear? Yes. 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 We can go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Tandi. All right. Thank you. Okay, Prakar said what you told about your anchor that you're looking yourself in the mirror. I kind of said the same thing as my anchor. Now I'm kind of confused about the second one. So um, Prakar, you can set another one or you can change your clothes and look at the mirror, right? So you can do anything, go crazy with your anchor. So Kunya, Kunya has a Kuya, okay, Nikhil. Nikhil has anchored uh, the hacker, the athlete. That's a great uh, phrase that you have said. Do goals need to always be materialistic? No, not at all. But it has to have some measurable outputs, right? Your goal can be in your spiritual manner that you want to be realized, for example. But there will be something that is materialized as the outcome of those goals. Right, so you will have extra sensory experiences because you are now realized you're highly spiritual. So similar things, any any goal that you set, the outcome of that, you will be able to sense it in one of the five senses that you have. Okay, now uh, Ritu, help me with this next uh, one, please. Ritu, can you move to the next slide, please? Ritu? Hmm. Okay, role of environment. Uh, guys, I'm going to explain to you how uh, the anchors are used in just five, 10 minutes more. Okay, just bear with me, have patience. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to use the anchor and you'll love it. So the role of environment. 
whatever goals that you are setting for yourself after the session, take some five, 10 minutes and write down the steps or the milestones that you have or the actions that you need to take. But that part I'm not going to cover because that is very easy. You can do it for yourself. But I'm going to explain to you what is the rule of environment and how to use the anchors that we are deciding now. The rule of environment. So but whatever thing that you want to achieve, you need to have some of the relatable things around you, right? So for example, you want to, let's say, uh, one of you said you want to have um, uh, 3.5 lakhs per month as um, monthly income, right? So in order to achieve that, you need to have, you need to do some courses, you need to learn something, you need to read something, right? So let's say one of the actions that you had written down for yourself was to uh, read books, read more books, right? So if the books are somewhere in the briefcase where you can't reach, it will be very difficult for you to actually go and take out those books and actually read and then put it back. So you need to make all those things very accessible for yourself. So for somebody who said um, their health goes, goal was there and they wanted to be more fit, um, I think somebody is on the audio. I'm going to put you back. Okay. So somebody who has a health um, has a health goal. Somebody wants to be fit. For them, maybe I don't know. If one of the action is to exercise daily or stretch daily after you wake up, you need to make it easy for yourself and you know have a yoga mat nearby nearby in your room or somewhere where you go very, very often. And you need to have some green teas. Let's say you also, one of the actions that you have is having green tea every day. So you need to make it available right in front of you where you can see it so that you remember to do it. It has to be least resistance item. So you need to have all these things in your environment placed in a place of convenience. Because due to evolution, we tend to, you know, save energy in order to some, uh, in, in, you know, we tend to be lazy because we are trying to save energy. And we are trying to save energy because our mind thinks that there might be a threat later, a physical threat. But there are literally no tigers or snakes anymore. So there is no physical threat to our life. So we don't need to save energy, but our mind still thinks so we are going to play along with it and we are going to make things easy for us and, you know, convenient for us. So whatever goals you have, whatever actions you decide afterwards to achieve this goal, make things, make those actions easy for yourself. Make yourself curious. Ki, okay, the book is here. Maybe I should read just one page, right? <laughs> Madhumita lives in the neighborhood full of snakes, but I'm sure you're still alive. You'll still live a long life. <laughs> so don't worry. All right. So this was the role, in, role of environment. Uh, Ritu, please move on to the next slide. Okay. Purpose and identity. Now, when you say about your goal, about your internal experience, the strengths, all of those things, who do you become once you achieve them? What is the one word that comes to your mind when, when you say that, you know, I am financially free or I am fit? Who do you become? The word that came to my mind was I become, I am a great coach now or I am a great trainer. So who do you become? What is your new identity? New Deepak. Okay, who is this new Deepak? Define new Deepak. Entrepreneur. That's a great identity. What else? For me, in one of the things that I had written down was I am now free of judgment. I am now full of clarity. 
that is my identity. I am now clear of what I want. That was my identity. Naveen, you can't be Elon Musk. You can't be another person. So what is your identity? Maybe you are Naveen, um, you know, the upgraded Naveen or something like that. Calm and decision maker. This is a great one. Okay. Okay. Ritu, is everything okay? Uh, yeah, just a second. Okay. I'm so sorry. No problem. Okay, I guys, I just need five, 10 minutes more and then we'll be, you know, we'll be ready to move on. So now the next slide is actually supercharging your goal. How will you celebrate it once you achieve this goal? How will you celebrate it? Now we are supercharging your goals, all right? Your, wear M size dress and go party. Yeah. And what will you eat in the party and who will you go partying with? Write in, write in as many detail as possible. What are the important learning points that you have learned while you achieve these goals? What was the uh, learning point? For me, for example, persistence was a learning point. The other learning point that I had written down for myself was, um, let me find it. Hmm. I learned effective communication. Ah, Mary of happiness. What else? How can environment be influenced to become better parent? Participate in something. Okay. Take a pic with my wife. This is how you celebrate. That's great. Hmm. What will be your learning points once you achieve this goal? Now we are supercharging the goals, okay? So, and now think of something that you are already really proud of from your life. Something that you are proud, proud of. Some incident that happened. Uh, Ritu, move on to the next slide, slide please. Supercharge, yes. Journey to there, societal helping hand. Guys, I'm on the next question. What is the goal that you are already proud of that you have achieved? Now, how is that going to help you in this uh, particular goal that you have created for yourself? Write that down for yourself. Okay, contribution at workplace, having a stable job. Great, awesome. Now, how will this goal, how, how will the learning from this particular the goal that you already achieved will help you in achieving the current goal that you're setting for 2022 and the coming times? Can do attitude, that's awesome. What else? Okay. We are moving on. Um, Ritu, next slide, please. Okay, now we are going to merge all the anchors, all right? Um, Ritu, you can stop um, the presentation. Okay, all right. What I mean by merging all the anchors is the first anchor that you had set for yourself and the second anchor that you had self set for yourself. If you merge those two, what happens? What does it become? Just imagine, go crazy. Just imagine. So let's say somebody saw yellow as the first anchor 
and the second anchor was uh, her in a convertible so if you add these two what ha what happens is the convertible yellow or is the sky yellow or you know you're wearing a yellow dress or what is it so if you combine those two anchors what happens just choose anything if a new anchor shows up that's okay take that one as well heart is of heart is of purple color that's great what else <clears throat> What else, guys? Come on, we are running out of time. Just choose anything. Golden, building under construction with red bricks. Okay, that's good. What else? Yes, Silish. Dinesh is seeing green planet. That's wonderful. Sitting in convertible, wearing a blazer. Email address with Amazon domain. Awesome. Friend who has the same weight loss journey. Proud of me. Okay, that's great. See, look red from sky. That's beautiful. Okay. I guess you guys have a hang of the anchor. So now I'm okay. I'll tell you how to use this anchor. Now, remember I told you, when you see a flag, you will have a sense of... Uh, being Indian and you be proud of yourself, right? When you connect something, when something fire together, wires, uh, something that wires together, fires together. So when I make you remember the helicopter view from the place I own, this was one of the anchor. So when you see this, when you remember this anchor, you will remember the goals and all the things that I made you write along with it, right? You will remember these strengths. You will remember the internal experience. You will remember the external resources. You will also remember the people whose uh, support do you need, right? So I want all of you to maybe sketch or print out or you know something or do something and create this anchor in a physical form for yourself and keep it in front of yourself. When you do this and you read through whatever you have written, at least for a couple of days, you'll remember everything. And both these two things, the anchor and the things that you have written down for yourself will connect, right? And then whenever you will see this anchor, you will remember your goal. When you remember your goal, I'll tell you the most magical things will happen. It will be connected again to all the things that you have written down and it will prime your mind it will make your mind on, on a subconscious level to go and do something about it. The actions will be automatic. It will be smoother. You will not ha have to struggle. Oh my God, now since I want 3.5 lakhs, I'll have to study. Oh my God, how will I do this? I don't like studying. No, that will not run in your mind. And I assure you and I request you do not take any action until it is inspired. And that will be inspired once you actually follow the 90 minutes that we had till now. We, what we did was just playing around, isn't it? I was just taking you through a movie, your own movie, your own personal goal movie, and you're just experiencing it. Now, I want you to experience it more often, at least for a couple of days, at least. Right, so I did it for at least one week, but I'm asking you, requesting you to just go through this for a couple of days, write down the actions, don't take the actions, but just write down whatever you need to do and just read through it and you know, play around and see what shows up, see what happens. You will see magic happening and you will automatically be inspired to take an action. A director directs the film in his mind first. It's true for our goals too. Absolutely, Hemant. And all the things that you, all the actions that you take will be automatic. You will not struggle and you will not feel lazy while you're going to read a book or while you're going to exercise if that action is actually inspired and if you actually follow this anchor. Before you end this session, I want all of you to sketch the uh, you know, sketch the anchor that you have created for yourself, fill with colors, you know, go crazy and just have the best picture, best anchor in your mind 
and keep it in front of you for as long as possible. For me, I have a vision board, a whole big vision board for myself full of anchors that, that I had created for myself over the years. So create anchors, connect things. It becomes very easy for our mind to articulate something or to go and achieve something or buy something or, you know, just have a wonderful life, have a very efficient, beautiful life. So that is the end. And I'm going to share my contact details. And um, Ritu, thank you so much for having me. And over to you. And Thank I'm you so much for the session. I mean, uh, it was a great honor. I mean, you were taking one-on-one -on -one sessions with everyone, interacting with everyone. Um, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, everyone, for joining in on Sunday's morning. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to share my contact details very quickly. So guys, this is my contact details. So you can contact me and I'm going to post um, pictures with all. So there's no picture, but I'm going to contact you know, I would love to have you uh, on LinkedIn or Instagram or wherever you're comfortable, connect with me, talk to me. And, you know, if there's some way that I can help you be better or, you know, achieve something together, that will be my honor. And it's great being on Upgrad platform. Thank you so much, Ritu, for connecting me with so many people. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. And guys, before I leave the session, don't share the details of your goals with anybody. I'll tell you a story. There was an elephant who was walking towards, um, he heard, you know, some sounds in a pool, in a pool of mud. And he goes towards the pool and he sees a lot of pigs, you know, playing. So he walks off. And while he's walking off, one of the pigs actually starts to make fun of him, saying that, you know, the elephant is actually afraid. So he, the elephant doesn't mind and go back, goes back to the herd. And one of the elephants says, you could have just uh, smashed him. Why didn't you? And the elephant said, the other elephant said that if I smash him, all the mud will actually come to me as well. So I'm not going to do that. I don't want the mud. So... I guess <coughs> that's your story and I'll see you guys again on Instagram or LinkedIn. I would love to talk with all of you if you can connect with me on LinkedIn and Upgrad is always the greatest platform so you can connect to me over there as well. <clears throat> Uh, you guys can follow her on LinkedIn uh, and on Instagram for sure.
Ratu, I guess it's okay to for me to drop. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. Thank you guys. I'm going to connect with you later. Do feel free to um, <clears throat> message me, talk to me. And, you know, it's always great to have somebody come back and tell me that, you know, they achieved something because of something that I said. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.